Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be going over signs that she might be seeing someone else. You definitely don't want to ignore these. I think sometimes when we're in the beginning talking stages, especially now in today's day and age where everyone seems to be dating multiple people, not everyone, of course, that's me being a little bit dramatic, but sometimes it does feel like you're competing with so many different people in the very beginning stages of talking to someone new, right? So how do you tell if you're not the only egg in the basket? How do you tell if she's seeing other people? These are the signs you're gonna to wanna to look out for. These signs could mean that she is seeing other people and again, you're not the only person in her life. So let's get started. Number one, you don't see her. Maybe you used to see her more often and now you don't see her at all. Maybe she's ghosting you. Maybe she has never actually hung out with you and she's just texting you or saying that she wants to hang out with you but isn't actually hanging out with you. There are a bunch of different circumstances and situations that fall under this category here. But the moral of the story is you're not seeing her. Even if you're long distance, maybe this means you're not FaceTiming her or talking to her that much. She might be keeping her schedule open for other people. That could be the reason why you aren't seeing her as much as maybe you used to. Maybe she has started talking to other people and she's going out with them instead of you. Again, I really created this video here for the beginning stages of a relationship. This, these don't really work as much for if you've been seeing someone for a long time or you're in a relationship with someone and you think they're cheating. I've done a whole video on signs that she's cheating, but this one is like when you aren't official yet, when you you aren't exclusive and you're just in those beginning stages of getting to know someone maybe you guys are texting back and forth on the daily or you're talking to her on the phone a couple times a week maybe you've been seeing her on the weekend um, things are maybe fresh and new and once you know what these signs are I think it's very obvious then to gauge kind of if that girl is seeing someone else um, again here with the you're not seeing her thing maybe you went on a couple of dates and she's just not talking to you as much that could be because she is keeping her options open keeping her schedule open and she's seeing other people as well and you aren't the only one that she's fitting into her schedule maybe you know she wasn't sure how she felt about you and so she decided to continue going out with other people I mean really again the situations here are endless but I really want you guys to understand if you are not seeing this girl chances are she really either doesn't like you that much or she's seeing other people because if she was into you she would want to see you and hang out with you and if you're noticing a change or fluctuation in that of course it could be because she's busy you know one week and maybe not as busy the next but if you notice this kind of consecutively or consistently or again maybe she's even gotten to the point where she's ghosting you or really not even texting you or talking to you that's kind of how you know she's seeing other people if she says she's too busy to hang out with you too busy to talk to you again keep in mind that too busy is really a non-existent thing when it comes to a girl who really genuinely likes you if she likes you she's going to want to talk to you she's going to want to get to know you and spend time with you emphasis on spend time with you Number two is that there's no progress. Maybe you've been seeing her for a couple of weeks or even a couple of months and you feel like the relationship is not progressing. Maybe you're not, again, like I mentioned before, seeing her all that much or even talking to her that much. If you feel like nothing is progressing or moving forward, of course, there could be the circumstances where she doesn't feel ready to take it to that next level, but it could also mean that she's not sure how she feels about you. She's keeping her options open. She's still seeing other people. And that's why nothing is moving further with you because she still has other men in her life. Every Every situation and dynamic is of course very different here. Um, I think it's important to note that when you're thinking about your specific situation. Some people are more private than others and they won't just introduce you to their friends or their family or people that are close to them in their life until you've been seeing them for quite some time. If you feel like the relationship is not moving forward and you would like it to, it could definitely be because she is still seeing other people. And going a step further than this, another situation I've seen a lot is maybe you're really into her and you want things to move forward and you want to be exclusive. but she she doesn't necessarily feel that way. Is she seeing you in secret? Does anyone in her life know that you exist? Sure, again, she could be a very private person, but if you've been seeing this girl for months and you haven't met anyone in her life, no one even knows you exist on the face of the earth, this could be a red flag and maybe a sign that she doesn't wanna move forward with you. Again, it could be for other reasons as well, but also very well may be because she's still seeing other guys. Number three, she's distant or says she wants space. If nothing has happened and she all of a sudden starts to act really cold or distant with you and you haven't given her a reason to act that way, it could mean that she has developed a connection with someone else or she's seeing other people and is forming a connection with them and is not feeling as strongly about you. 
One thing that is so common with modern dating nowadays is people being on dating apps, obviously, right? And they match with you, but they're still matching with a ton of other people. They're getting a bunch of messages. You guys know the drill. I've done multiple videos talking about how, you know, dating apps are very swayed for women in comparison to men. And women get so many messages, so many matches. If you guys have just started talking and she's still active on the dating apps, she's probably still getting a ton of messages and matches from other guys um, and attention from other guys as well. So so do I agree with talking to a bunch of people at once? Absolutely not. I do think in the beginning, it's okay to keep your options open. You're not married to a person that you just matched with on a dating app. Um, and I think it's okay to keep your options a little bit open and not put all of your eggs in one basket necessarily when you're like just starting to talk to someone. But I do think it gets to a point where in order to progress your relationship with one person that you're really into, you have to cut the other people out. And you can't just see all these people and expect things to progress with all of them it's kind of like the bachelorette and the bachelor like people get cut out for a reason that show is silly in itself and i hate to even use that as a comparison but it's much easier to form a deeper connection with one person when not 10 other guys are involved right so if you notice that she's becoming distant all of a sudden or maybe she even has ghosted you and i think often when people ghost it's because they moved on to something else or they feel like they found something better i don't mean to make you feel bad when i say that but i think a lot of people have a hard time not constantly looking for better options or something that they feel like is better for them. But I know there are girls out there who aren't just like texting multiple guys all the time. So I don't wanna scare you by saying that or make it seem like women are malicious. Of course, some of them are and some of them are talking to more guys than others, um, but this is just something to be aware of. And that leads me into my next point here, number four, which is that she makes you an option. She could be keeping her options open and is therefore making you an option instead of a priority. So how do you tell if she's making you an option instead of a priority? Are you the one that's always reaching out? Are you the only one that's trying to make plans? Is your time, effort, and energy not being reciprocated? If so, she's probably not all in with you. I've done a video about signs that she's serious about you, and a lot of the signs include her reaching out to you, her following through with plans and wanting to actually make plans with you, or reciprocating the time, effort, and energy that you're putting in. If those things aren't happening, she's making you an option. If you feel like someone's making you an option, it's probably because you are one to them. And last on my list, number five, you feel confused. My rule of thumb is that if you are confused about where you stand with someone, that is normally not a good sign. It could mean that this person is just really not good at communicating with you, which is a red flag. It could mean that this person is making you an option instead of a priority, which is not a good sign. Uh, it could mean that this person is seeing other people, and if you're not in that same boat and you want to just be exclusive with this person, that's not a good sign either. I really want you to remember here that actions speak louder than words. I say this so much on my channel because if I could go back and tell my younger self a few things, this would be one of them. I always tried to see the good in people. I always tried to see what I wanted things to be instead of what they actually were. And I would have saved myself so much heartache and wasted time by just seeing what was right in front of me instead of what I wanted it to be. And really genuinely watching people's actions instead of their words and what they said they were going to do. Sure, this girl might be keeping you at an arm's length to use you for attention or when she's bored or be a little texting pen pal buddy, but she has no intention of moving things forward with you, being exclusive with you or seeing you in person. So really be able to see things for what they are. Again, if you know these signs, I think it's often easier to see them. Of course, just because they're doing all the things on this list doesn't necessarily 100% mean that they're seeing other people. But I think if she's genuinely doing anything on this list, it means that she's not making you a priority and she's really not that into you anyways. I know dating is tough. I'm not trying to make it seem like all women are malicious and out there dating a bunch of people all at once because I know I was most certainly not that way at all and I know so many people who also aren't. But the more you know, knowledge is power. If you're able to see the signs and know what they are at least, hopefully you'll be able to save yourself from heartache and wasted time. So if you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.